This is, this is it, right? This is seven, eight, nine, 15 years old that you, you've dreamed about. I know you dreamed about it last night. I know you have. But you only get this feeling right now. I know me. I know you. I know what I'm feeling. I cannot simulate that only in these moments. This is a, this is a real moment, what's going on right here. An ass whipping presented to you by the Orlando Predators. Ring on three, one, two, three, get it out there, get out there, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. My name is Rob Keith. I'm the head coach of the Arena Football League's Orlando Predators. At six years old, my mom will tell a great story that when I first put on the pads uh, as a player, uh, I said, I've been waiting for this all my life, which is, I think is pretty funny at six years old. I, I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with, I think, the concept of the team sport, where it's, it's not tennis, it's not golf, now, even in basketball, where you can kind of take over a game by you know, just being the guy that always shoots. You know, football, literally, you, you, you can't pass the ball until you get the center to snap it to you. And, you can't be a great receiver unless the ball is then passed to you. And it, I kind of fell in love with uh, the camaraderie of it all. I fell in love with the fact that it took everybody um, in this very, I think, militaristic kind of style where literally one guy can't win a battle. I began coaching at the age of 28. And I realized there was a lot of knowledge in the brain. He's very, very young, youngest head coach to win an AFL championship. So. I think there's somebody that, uh, he's, he's someone that just relates to the players very well and they naturally enjoy working with him. The greatest accomplishment in my mind for me is seeing players have success because it means that I've reached them in some form of way. But uh, to win the four championships that I have in the Arena Football League, it, it literally has come from, you know, always being told too slow, always being told too short, uh, being kind of counted out, one of those and yeah, maybe rags to riches stories, but uh, there's still a lot to prove. And at 33 years age, I still feel like there's a lot that I have to prove out there. And, and the passion is all natural. I mean, it's, it's something that I really firmly believe in. I feel like I'm, I'm providing entertainment to fans. I, I feel that I'm providing a level of uh, entertainment that not only helps them for that day, but it, it gives them through the week. You know, I think it's something that people look forward to. Um, it helps them drift away. That's how I kind of view it from the fan base. I feel like I can help from charitable organizations and be out to talk to kids in schools and high schools and uh, to work in the homeless shelters that I can't wait to do when the season's over. So I feel like for me in my life that I get to live, it's the avenue of how I can reach the most people at one time as being a head coach in the Arena Football League for right now. With Coach Keefe, he's someone that is so hands-on and such a good teacher to young players that when I bring a new player in, um, I can kind of look at them in a different light. Knowing Coach Keefe is going to give them the kind of teaching um, that's necessary for a guy to make the transition from outdoor football to indoor football, I have the opportunity to look at a player and think, what can he be rather than who is he? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, you're going to learn today. All right, all right. He's very detailed into little things. Uh, he, he's watching a lot of film. Uh, he, he's just a great coach. Uh, he prepares well. He has us uh, ready physically and mentally. You know. Uh, Definitely go to the games well prepared just because of him. He got a bad attitude. I promise you it's going to be a long day. He's a hard worker. You know, he, he spends hours and hours up here trying to get us ready uh, to play the game. And uh, he takes this real serious, you know. Uh, he spends a lot of hours uh, doing extra stuff that normally any other coach wouldn't do. Make sure you are focused and we stay on schedule. You guys are going to dominate tonight. Quarterbacks, make sure we mess up that snap count. Make sure we're controlled in the huddle. Make sure we're smart with the football. Make sure we take what the defense gives us, whether it's short or deep. Make sure you are a leader tonight. Quarterbacks, make sure you are a leader tonight. Wide receivers won't catch it all. They cannot cover you. It's a proven fact. They cannot cover you. We've proven that all year. Make sure we catch everything. Make sure if you need to communicate that you need to take a breather, let us know. We will sub you right out because we have five tonight. We are on fire tonight. brought Coach Keefe in uh, to change the culture. He's a guy that has a winning mentality, and it's a franchise that's, that's been through its struggles in the last few years. Um, so the first thing he and I did when we got here was change the culture, bring in different players with different personalities, 
um, and guys who were hungry and motivated. Um, so we tried to bring in people that uh, obviously work well with his same kind of mentality. I do believe I'll be a head coach in the NFL one day. I do believe I'll win a Super Bowl one day. I believe that this is now where I have to do to, to get to those proper steps. But it's all, I think, the things that have in the past, I can't just maybe say there's one thing, but from the day you're born to this very moment has all shaped me to how I think I react towards life right now. I don't think anything of importance has been gained and, and, and been harnessed without struggle involved in it. And I think if it was just given to you, it wouldn't be as appreciative or something that you would appreciate that much. And so for me, the reason why I do appreciate, I think, every day with what I'm doing is because of the times where I literally had to look in the mirror and said, you have to figure out something to get to where you want to be. So I think the quote of my life is, you know, do what you need to do to get to where you need to be. And so whatever it takes, I think everybody's been there. A single mother, you know, on welfare understands the same thing. And it's, it's maybe not that dramatic for me, but uh, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to, to have the life that I think I was deserved to do through football, and, and I'm going to go out and get it.